Good evening. I'm Cole Hartman, and our sports ticker is brought to you by the 1890 Initiative. Earlier today, Nebraska volleyball libero Lexi Rodriguez was named to the College Sports Communicators Academic All-America First Team. The junior from Sterling, Illinois, earned a 3.65 GPA, majoring in advertising and public relations, and one was one of seven student athletes selected to the first team. Her selection increased Nebraska's total to 41 Academic All-America awards, the most of any volleyball program in NCAA history. The Tennessee Titans fired head coach Mike Vrabel today after six seasons and back-to-back -back losing seasons in Nashville. Vrabel's firing comes a year after the Titans made a change at general manager, hiring Rand Carthon. Also of note today, the final 2023 college football AP poll was released. As expected, the national champion Michigan Wolverines claimed the top spot, followed by Washington, Texas, Georgia, and Alabama to round out the top five. Other Big Ten teams finishing in the top 25 were Ohio State at 10, Penn State at 13, and Iowa at 24. And in Big Ten basketball tonight, on the men's side at 6 p.m., Indiana travels to New Jersey, New Jersey to battle Rutgers. And shortly after 8 p.m., number one Purdue rolls into Lincoln to take on the Huskers. Pre-game coverage for that one begins at 7 with Kent Pavelka and Jake Muehlheisen on the HRN. On the women's side, Maryland and Michigan State are at the half with the Terrapins up. 29 to 22 and at 7 p.m. Minnesota travels to Ann Arbor for a matchup with Michigan. Our sports ticker is sponsored by the 1890 initiative. Do you want to support Husker student athletes through name, image and likeness? If so, visit 1890nebraska.com. Hour one of Sports Nightly is coming up next on the Huskers radio network. Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly, all the Huskers, all the time. Sports Nightly is presented to you by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who remind you to buckle up and put the phone down. Huskers ball, high right side, Mast shoots up another three, got it, he's three for three, Rink Mast. She will reset with 12 on the shot clock. Once the screen gets it from Markowski to the right elbow, back out top. Markowski will shoot a three. You betcha! Ties the game! A three-pointer by Markowski off the assist from Hayden. Lawrence with the ball. Cross court, mid court to Tomanaga, shoots up a 30 footer. Got it! Bang! Bang! A ring! Tomanaga with a three. Goes off the bounce, goes behind your back, works foul line, pots for three, top of the key. You betcha! Natalie Potts, the Big Ten Freshman of the Week with a triple. Ball knocked free, out of bounds, saved by Alec, clips it in the boogie, down the floor. Here comes a dunk by Jawan, hammers it home with the right hand. The net gets caught up on the rim. Here are your hosts, Greg Sharp and Jessica Cootie on the Huskers Radio Network. Well, hail to the victors. Congratulations to the Michigan Wolverines, college football's national champion, a team that Jessica, we saw up close when they were here. Uh, earlier in the season. Well deserved. That's a heck of a team. Yeah, they were. And, and just so complete, which we talked about all season long, the way that with offense, defense, in the trenches, they were the most physical team. It wasn't always the flashiest, but man, they just, um, how many times did they just wear somebody down? But it just, they, they could do it all, right? And then they have a guy like Blake Corum and, uh, that can get loose. And they just had, they had, had it all put together. Then they were driven by the disappointments of the last couple of years, the drama, everything that surrounded it kind of brought that team closer. And so we, we had also talked about that throughout the season is, you know, already a good team got more dangerous when you lit a fire underneath them with all the things that were going on with Coach Harbaugh and everything else. So, yeah, they just was a team on a mission. They looked like it last night. I didn't, don't you feel like they used that to fuel themselves? Oh, yeah. Us against the world type yeah, mentality. Absolutely, yeah. That's that's what – it was already a dangerous team, but then, hey, they – it brought them even closer together. Some teams could have pulled apart, but when all that stuff started to unfold and then he wasn't on the sideline, we heard J.J. McCarthy talking about it. It just, it brought them closer together. And, um, you know, it was, it was supposed to punish them, but I think it um, it absolutely gave them another spark, let the fire even more. If they weren't fired up, up enough, that just gave them the push that they needed really at the towards the end of the season. Michael Penix needed to be good. He wasn't very good last night. And I, he got happy feet. I think he got hit a couple times. Yeah, I think he may even have, or we may end up finding out that he had a rib injury. I think he got popped in the ribs 
in that game, but he missed receivers that were there. That, I mean, there was, a, there was a path, I thought, for Washington to win the game last night, but Michigan is just so steady, and they don't make big mistakes. I'm probably in the minority here. I'm not a huge, huge J.J. McCarthy fan. I think he's fine. Harbaugh's trying to tell us he's the best quarterback ever at Michigan. I, I, I can't go that far. I think he's got a great supporting cast. You mentioned Corum. Wilson, the wideouts, really good. Their tight ends are very good. They block it so well. I think he's fine, but I don't think he's great, like – Harbaugh says, but Penix to me was disappointing. I thought there were opportunities for Penix to make plays last night, and he didn't for Washington. Yeah, and Michigan has one of the best defenses, too, on top of that. So yes. he's he's got the supporting personnel, whereas Washington didn't necessarily have, you know, how many times did Washington have to outscore people? Did Michael Penix have to go outscore people, yeah. and he just didn't? wasn't able to do that last night but yeah I mean as for as good as he was and especially in some of the biggest games it was it was you just thought that he was going to take that moment but maybe it was that he was hurt and wasn't a hundred percent but you I just thought that of everything that he's been through and here's your moment and he's played so well I really thought I mean you and I picked Washington Damon was on the show last week he picked Washington I just thought with him and the wide receivers it was just maybe going to be a little bit too much if they got into a shootout right which Washington is has won a few of those I thought Washington will win a shootout but then it, they couldn't even get into the shootout well you just think what they did they they held Ohio State probably played him as close as even obviously Bama took him to overtime Penn State only managed 15 points in their game and they fired their OC after the game here's Washington's great offense only scores 13 last night in the game. It goes back to defense, and Iowa is terrific on that side of the football. We saw it here. We were about to get shut out until uh, Josh Fleeks got loose on that long run to kind of break the shutout late in the game. That was a great team. Now, Matt Rue, I think, knew it at the time. That was a heck of a team. You know, he worked his team out really hard <laughs> the next day yeah. with that practice. But I, well, we saw him here. I think we were all convinced that's, that's, if not the best team in the country, one of the best. I just think maybe... You know, again, we saw it, but it wasn't like they were just flashy all the time, whereas you maybe go to to a Georgia and how they beat teams right. or, or how Alabama in the past has beat teams. and LSU with Burrow. And yeah, that, and, or, and yeah. so maybe you didn't – you maybe took them for granted a little bit how solid the team was, but they didn't have to light up the scoreboard to win games. Right. They could just play the time of possession game and run it and win it without – you know, scoring 45 points a game, 35 points a game. It just it maybe was a different looking national champion that we've seen in the past that they didn't straight up just dominate everybody that they played in terms of what the score looked like, but they were pretty dominant on both sides of the football, especially up front. That just was a physical football team on both sides and they gave people problems all year and then not to mention they had the experience of being there they were disappointed a year ago everything that they rallied together as a team it just was kind of all the fixings that that came together at the right time for michigan in some ways the way they beat you is more demoralizing because they just beat you up yeah they physically manhandle you where the lsu teams would just outscore you and their athletic ability just blows you away michigan just gets you into a fist fight it's demoralizing they, yeah they pound you yeah yeah by the way, is that the last time we saw Jim Harbaugh on the sidelines for Michigan? I, I kind of feel like it is. I do, too. I, I felt like it was. I think it's going to be the NFL. Well, and especially, too, which who knows how the NCAA is going to handle everything, but if it's going to help their case for him to step away and, hey, our head coach isn't here, and with as much as it's been a push of don't punish the athletes for what the, the head coaches and the, the guys in charge, their decisions that they made, and don't punish the players that didn't have any, any part of it, if that's going to help Michigan's case moving forward to not have a, a more severe punishment moving forward with, I don't know, is the NCAA done with all of that? Is it just on hold? But maybe moving forward it would help their case if he's no longer there. It'll be interesting. I think it'll happen. For, I mean, there's a lot of talk about the Chargers. They have a job opening. Cole just told you the Titans job open. Yeah, I could see him going to, to Tennessee or, or to the Chargers in Los Angeles. But it just kind of had a feeling that that was – that might have been it for Jim Harbaugh, and that would certainly change the future for, for Michigan. And for Washington, welcome to the club. They're now a Big Ten team. They will be next fall. We do not play them. They're not part of our schedule for the next two years. I think they come on in 26, uh, but we won't see them. But that's, that's a good football program, and it's a great city, great stadium, a great addition, I think, to the league. So it will be fun to, to follow 
uh, follow them. We got some basketball coming up at the top of the hour. We're going to hear from Kent Pavelka here in a few minutes. The number one team in the country is in Lincoln tonight, the Purdue Boilermakers. Last year, Nebraska had them on the ropes. A tough call near midcourt uh, per helped Purdue prevail. That was an early December matchup. Uh, anxious to see about Bryce Williams. Coach Hoiberg said yesterday, Jessica, he didn't practice. He rolled an ankle in Wisconsin, didn't practice Saturday or, or, or Sunday or Monday. Be tough. We don't have Bryce out there tonight. Yeah, they need all hands on deck for this one. So hopefully he had a good couple of days and we'll feel better today. But uh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a tall task. But this is, uh, you want to talk about, hey, uh, putting a big, um, just glaring part on your resume when you <laughs> are building a resume, this would be a big opportunity to do that, uh, getting a win against Purdue. So, uh, top of the hour for that one, or for pregame at least, with Kent and Jake as the Huskers get ready to take on the Boilers tonight at PBA. This is a tough stretch. I mean, you go back, we, we played Indiana last week. They're a good basketball team. We won that one. We go to Wisconsin. They're playing great basketball. And now here's Purdue, and then it's at Iowa on Friday. This is a rough stretch. I think we identified this even months ago when the schedule came out. I was like, got to hang on here. You just got to kind of hang on and try to win here and there and keep your kind of your record in a, in a pretty good space. So, th I, to me, there's no pressure tonight. This would be kind of a freebie. If we get this one, it would be huge for the resume. But this, I'm not going to lose sleep if we don't prevail tonight. I just think there's too much of the season left to go. I think just put together a good performance, right? Something that you can build off of. Yeah, it would be huge if you can get the win. But... Um, you know, you coming off the loss to Wisconsin, how do you respond at home? And when you are heading on the road for back-to-back -back games out of this, you need to have some positives to build off of and, and that you can carry on because it is, it is a tough stretch with back-to-back -back on the road and at Iowa. And so, yeah, be, uh, be a big one to, to just kind of put some thing, good things together and hopefully come out on the right side of it. But if not, you don't feel really disappointed like there there have been a couple of losses that you feel really disappointed with how they performed right Creighton yeah. at Minnesota yeah. you don't want to have that kind of feeling I think you know you want to put some good things together against the number one number one team in the nation and something you can build off of moving forward and not only do you get through this stretch just hang on record wise but also the bodies and and not staying healthy and not getting too beat up out of through the stretch too this may sound weird and I, this was why I couldn't be a coach. But if Bryce is iffy, I don't play him tonight. I, 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 there's too much of the season ahead. I, I think you get that ankle good. I, I, I would not rush that back. And I know, I know the magnitude of the number one team being here and how this could be great for the resume. But I would be tempted just to say, you know what, Bryce, we love you. Just get that ankle good and let's go maybe play your Friday night in Iowa City or next week when we go to Rutgers. Because I think he's so key. He's so key to what this team does. And, yes, Rink is kind of the heartbeat and the engine in the middle, but Bryce Williams is the guy that can cause a lot of matchup problems. Sure can. And he can score and a lot of, he, he does things from – he's very good shooting from the outside. He can score at all three levels, but he's so good on the, getting to the free throw line. He just does so many good things. And I think sometimes quietly – and but he is he's a guy that is going to cause some matchup problems moving forward and so he's a guy you're going to want to have on the floor because i think it's a little bit easier maybe to to plan a defense around a casey tomanaga than it is a bryce williams right you can try to throw everything and take casey out of it but i think it's a little bit harder to do that against a bryce williams i love bryce's game so we'll see we'll we'll hear maybe kent will have an update for us here in just a little bit i hope the weather doesn't hurt the crowd tonight. The highways are better. They've got all those cleaned up. I know the chat rooms want to know about uh, what we got in Lincoln. We've got about six inches of snow in Lincoln. And the biggest disappointment of the day is my snowblower wouldn't start. I could not believe it. I mean, you've talked about the thing I've, since I've met you. But I haven't And you haven't really while. ever been able to use it. God dang it. So now probably a carburetor issue. <laughs> so uh, that did not start. The highlight of the day was it's temperature Tuesday at our great friend's Runza. So I went to lunch at Runza, got nice. a cheap, you know, the it was like zero for the sandwich. I had to buy the fries and the, the drink, but God bless. I didn't Runza. know what you were talking about when you sent uh, that group text. Temperature Tuesday, every January. The temperature at 6 a.m. at whatever, whatever location they have throughout the state, that's what they set the price of the Runza for the day. Oh. Every Tuesday during January. So what, what it was? Zero. Zero today. So I said to buy the fries. What was the location? I went out to, I think it was, it was not a Lincoln location. It was out west. I don't know how far out west they go, but maybe somebody knows. But 
runs a tweet and said, all right, this is our, they tweet out every morning, here's what it is at huh. 6 a.m. So that was the highlight of my day. Nice. God bless Runza. <laughs> love it. All right, uh, KP. We love KP, right? He's going to join us here in just a little bit. Woodhouse Auto Family, they are your trusted auto partner. 20 brands, 20 convenient sales and service locations. We're making car buying on your terms. Visit us online at woodhouse.com. And it was packed at the Runza, the location I went to at uh, lunch today. All right, KP, coming up next. At your Ford dealer, making sure your Ford vehicle is running in tip-top shape is a big deal, and it just got a little bigger, starting with the Works Package. It includes a synthetic blend oil change, tire rotation, vehicle checkup, and more. Only your Ford dealer has factory-trained technicians and Ford parts, which makes it the best place to keep your vehicle or your next new Ford running at its best. Call to schedule service now or schedule with the Ford Pass app. They'll get you in and back on your way fast. Get the Works Package and get ready to go. That's the best way I could describe how it felt for me when I would walk out of either the casino or the keno parlor, is that you just felt that wave of heat, that wave of oppression kind of hit you, that wave of dread. Mike is a former problem gambler. Right away, you would always know that that drive home would be the worst moments of why. Why did I do this again? Why can't I stop this? Help for problem gambling is free for Nebraskans and their families at Life After Bet. Com. Hi, this is Husker National Champion and Super Bowl champ Tony Veland. Throughout my football career, chiropractic care helped my athletic performance on the field and kept me in the game. Today, regular chiropractic care keeps me healthy and active to do the things I love. Chiropractic is safe and effective for all ages. Make chiropractic your first choice to reduce pain, improve your mobility, and feel better naturally. It works for me, and it can work for you too. Learn more at NebraskaChiropractic.org. Stay active with chiropractic. Other irrigation companies are finally discovering what TNL Irrigation is known for decades. Continuous movement is the best way to irrigate. While they'll have you pay for complicated upgrades to get steady, even water application with their high voltage electric systems, all TNL Irrigation pivots and linears are propelled safely and smoothly by powerful hydrostatic drive. Continuous movement isn't new, it's the TNL standard. Don't get talked into a reinvented wheel. Pick the proven original. Call your TNL Irrigation dealer today or visit TLIRR.com. TNL, like no other. Woodhouse has got you covered for your next car, truck, or SUV. We are committed to making the car buying and owning experience better thanks to our knowledgeable sales staff and factory certified technicians. You can discover our large inventory of new and pre-owned vehicles anytime at woodhouse.com where we have made buying a car easier than ever. Whether you need a family hauling SUV, a car to take you around town, or a hardworking truck, Woodhouse has something for everyone. Don't miss out on limited-time appliance deals during the closeout event at Lowe's. Get up to 35% off select major appliances. Plus, save an extra $100 when you spend $999 or more on all major appliances. Hurry, these deals are too good to last long. Shop in-store or online today because Lowe's knows home improvement. Valid 1-4 through 124. Selection varies by location. While supplies last, see Lowe's.com for details. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Hi, this is Husker National Champion and Super Bowl champ Tony Veland. Throughout my football career, chiropractic care helped my athletic performance on the field and kept me in the game. Today, regular chiropractic care keeps me healthy and active to do the things I love. Chiropractic is safe and effective for all ages. Make chiropractic your first choice to reduce pain, improve your mobility, and feel better naturally. It works for me, and it can work for you too. Learn more at NebraskaChiropractic.org. Stay active with chiropractic. It's time for another round of Nebraska Farm Facts. If there's one thing Nebraska's known for, it's our beef. And Nebraska soybeans feed a lot of them, and even more pigs and chickens. Farmers and ranchers raise livestock and poultry to provide nutritious, affordable protein for all ages to help build muscle and maintain energy for a healthy lifestyle. Keep that in mind as you prepare all that tasty meat on your tailgate grill. This message is brought to you by Nebraska Soybean Farmers, growing opportunity from the ground up. 
Noddle Companies is proud to support Husker Athletics. As a leader in commercial real estate, we create thriving communities. Discover what's new in the Builders District in North Downtown, Sunnyside Exarbon, and Row House Townhomes on Leavenworth. Noddle Companies is adding Omaha's first hybrid timber building to the skyline. Soon to follow is Builders Green Park, surrounded by mouth-watering food, exciting retail, and a hub of thriving businesses. Noddle Companies, building a better Nebraska. For more information, check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Go Huskers! At Groundworks, we take great pride in helping our Nebraska neighbors keep their homes healthy. From repairing foundations to waterproofing basements to fixing crawl spaces or lifting concrete driveways. We'd like to think our customers choose us because of our attention to detail or the fact that we're the nation's leading foundation solutions provider. What gives our customers the most comfort is we're right here in Nebraska. Visit Groundworks.com for a free estimate. Groundworks, foundation solutions crafted with pride the official foundation company of the Huskers. For farmers, productivity isn't an option. It's everything. And at Valley, we feel the same. Delivering game-changing technology and irrigation solutions that advance agricultural productivity with the results to prove it. From our leading irrigation technology to expert advice, you can always rely on Valley to bring out the best in your farm. At Valley, productivity isn't an option. It's everything. Visit your local Valley dealer or valleyirrigation.com today. Maybe your hometown celebrates long-standing Swiss traditions, cow chip throwing, or even classic car muscle. Everyone has a hometown, and every hometown has a festival. Senex wants to hear about yours. That's why we're launching the Hometown Throwdown. Tell us about your fest, and it could win $100,000. Learn more at SenexHometownThrowdown.com. Senex, powered locally. We're back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, brought to you by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Welcome back, Sports Alley. Here on a Tuesday night ahead of Husker basketball, the number one team in the country, the Purdue Boilermakers in town for an 8 o'clock tip. Ken Pavelka all set up and ready. Uh, glad that the equipment arrived on time and safe and sound so that you can get on the air tonight. Yeah, that's Jake's responsibility, you know. Uh, he, he, we, we got on just, got, got it put together just in time for me to get on the air. We talked he, to... He oh. studied his, his predecessor really well. And, and Matt used to show up about 10 minutes for it, game time. Jake does a little better than Matt used to. <laughs> Well, we talked to him, um, what, last week, and he said you, you call him on game days and you're pretty fired up. What was the feeling for you today when you, you uh, were driving down here? White knuckles, Jessica, because <laughs> of the weather <laughs> from Omaha to Lincoln. Actually, I, I tweeted out that, it you know, I didn't have any problem. But, it you know, there's there's patches of what looks like ice, and so you, you, you're kind of reticent about about getting here in you know in good shape but i think uh for those people that have tickets come on down i mean it's the, the roads are not that bad and i didn't really have any problems i don't know I, i'm i'm worried about this game you know and why wouldn't you be number one in the country 14 and one on the year um uh, you know they got the best player in the country two-time player of the year I mean, you can go on and on and on about how good Purdue is. Uh, but the thing that concerns me is the way Nebraska played Saturday at Wisconsin. I was afraid that there would be a little bit of a letdown after the Michigan State win. Uh, the Indiana win, I, I beg your pardon. Uh, but I didn't expect Wisconsin to be so dominant. And I just wonder, you know, they, they regrouped after they lost at home to Creighton and then at Minnesota and beat Michigan State. Uh, I hope they have that kind of resilience tonight after Wisconsin. I, I'm not sure many people in the country would have beat Wisconsin KP Saturday. I thought they were terrific. Uh, they, they, they're getting contributions from guys off the bench that had not played real well for them. I thought they were just on fire. So I, I hope that this team can just shake that off and get ready for tonight. But the challenge tonight, I mean, I think it's pretty clear Purdue's the best team in this league right now. And they just cause you so many problems, don't they, with the size and then the ability to shoot from the perimeter? I think it's clear, Greg and Jessica, they're the best team in the country. I mean, and they're ranked number one, justifiably. They, you know, they've beaten Gonzaga, Tennessee, Marquette, Alabama, Arizona. 
and in the conference, uh, 3-0 and with wins over Iowa, one at Maryland, and at home against Illinois. Um, yeah, I mean, they've got it all. Edie, Edie is, you know, you pick your poison with this team, and Nebraska last year did a good job against him both here and at West Lafayette, limited him to 11 points, did get 17 rebounds in the game here, and then he got a dozen in, in West Lafayette. But, you know, Braden Smith may be the best point guard in the country. And uh, Fletcher Lawyer isn't too bad. <laughs> he had uh, 22 against the Huskers in Lincoln, 27 in West Lafayette. They've got it all. They really do. Uh, you got to hope that, you know, uh, I think right off the bat, th th that things go well for Nebraska. You've got to let Purdue know you're you're here to play them to the final buzzer because if, if you don't start off that way, it could, it could get ugly. And that's kind of what happened at Wisconsin. You know, they... They did not get off to the kind of start that they got off to, for example, at Kansas State. Um, so I think it's really important for Nebraska to uh, let Purdue know from the opening tip that, you know, they're, that, that they mean their intention is to win this game and upset them. So how will they look to match up, slow down, attack Zach Eady and uh, not allow him to have a monster night? Well, you got to. How do you do that? Yeah, and who will they look to? Who does Purdue look to? Who, who does you, Who do the Huskers look to? How are they going to attack that? Well, I think you got to double him, and but I think you've got to double him with great intention. You know, uh, physicality. You know, there's a lot more hitting that goes on in, in basketball than people understand and really see. And I, I think you got to. You know, you're going to have to double him, and. And, and with physicality. And that's what they did last year, and it worked. Uh, and save for a, a terrible call at the end of the game here in Lincoln, they, they win that thing. Um, and I think, and coaches said this, if they had won that game against Purdue, they, they would have been an NCAA tournament team last year. Anyway, yeah, I think that's where you start, is, is you've got to try to limit him. You either do that or let him have his, and you know, it's a lot easier to score a lot of points dunking the ball than it is shooting from three. <laughs> that that Purdue game last year, KP, was one of the few games where Nebraska was at full strength. You had Banamel, you had Gary, you had the whole – and that I think only seven games last year were played with that entire team. Now Bryce Williams rolls that ankle at Wisconsin Saturday. Coach said – that he did not practice Sunday or Monday. What's the latest on Bryce? Any shot of him playing tonight? Well, I think he looked okay during shoot-around. Um, to me, I didn't see any evidence that the, the ankle was problematic. Now, it may be hurting him. And once he starts, uh, in, you know, in terms of uh, game speed, it may it may uh, limit him. I don't know. Uh, you know, I think that there's something to be said for if he's not 100%. Maybe you throw him out there and see what happens, but I don't know that you risk um, him tonight and, and then, you know, not have him for, for the game Friday night at Iowa. At Iowa. Uh, I, I would suspect that he'll play, and, and we'll just see how effective he can be. Here is the biggest, most important, crucial question of the day. Are yep. Casey Tominaga's parents in the building tonight? I don't think so, Jessica. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and either either are Rick Masts. They were both the both sets of parents were here last Wednesday, uh, which was pretty cool. I thought he kind of likes when they're uh, when they're here, huh? Casey, yeah, he yeah. plays pretty good when they're in town. Yeah, he didn't do too bad last last Wednesday night. He had uh, 17 points, seven for 10. Well, actually, he had 17 points at Wisconsin, but uh, career high, two sh points shy, shy of his career high last Wednesday against Indiana with 28. So, okay, if, back to Bryce. If Bryce doesn't go tonight, KP, who gets minutes? Does Eli Rice pick up a few minutes? What, how do you think they handle the rotation? Well, we're going to talk to Coach about that when we get him on the air, uh, what they're going to do if he can't play or if he can't start. I I'm not sure how they'll go, but, you know, I mean, obviously you're going to see more of Josiah Alec, but he's not, you know, he is not the, the two guard that, that Bryce is. Um, you know, you might – that's a darn good question. I, you know, I, they may go big. We'll wait and see. I, I think – 
think what I'd like to see is a little more of uh, Bryce at the one, you know, if he's healthy. Because I think that, that when they've experimented with that, uh, that has a lot of promise. But we'll see. We'll see how they how they start and whether Bryce can go or not and, and to, you know, what extent. Hey, two games coming off that uh, surgery. How's Rink Mass? Is he pretty close to, to being 100%? I think he's fine, you know. Uh, I didn't ask. I did ask Bryce on the airplane ride when he walked down the aisle after the game on Saturday about his ankle, ankle, and he said no problem. It's fine. Probably, swole, you know, got. He 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 probably didn't know how he was going to feel the next day, and thus, you know, last couple of days he's been limited. But um, Rink is a, a, a remarkable. Uh, young man in terms of his ability to come back after that arthroscopic surgery in what like 11 days something like that you would I have not seen any evidence that it has limited him at all so uh, he was fine at Wisconsin he was, he's pretty darn good against Indiana last Wednesday as well like his game as well well okay so we've established that, that Jake takes care of all the equipment does that include running out and starting your car so that it's warm and ready when you get to go back to Omaha after the game you know what? That's a great idea. And he's not listening. You want to spring it on him during a well, commercial I think break? I think that should be part of the whole deal, right? I mean, if you're the equipment guy, you got to get the car and getting you to and from. That's part of the deal. And also scrape the windows if it's needed, you know? Well, I was thinking uh, maybe he could be my driver next year, <laughs> you know? Just drive you all the way to Omaha and back? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why not? All right, KP, we're going to cut you loose. I know you got some prep work to do before you go on the air. Have a great call tonight. Let's uh, let's shock the world. Let's go beat number one. Wouldn't that be nice? I hope so. That'd be awesome. Thanks, Ken. KP out at uh, PBA getting set up. I think we planted some good ideas in his mind right there. <laughs> Jake won't think so. <laughs> Jake will probably be like, what the heck are you yeah. guys feeding him? Jake will go. The next time we ask Jake to come on, he'll go, nope. <laughs> nope, not going to do it after what you guys uh, did there. Hey, Woodhouse Auto Family, they are your trusted auto partner. 20 brands, 20 convenient sales and service locations. We're making car buying on your terms. Visit us online at woodhouse.com. More of the show coming up next. Pizza's here. Oh, great. I'd love some, but I'm worried about my stomach issues. If you're worried about having diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools, it may not just be stomach issues. It could be a condition called exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, or EPI. With EPI, the pancreas doesn't release enough enzymes to break down food, but EPI is manageable. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by AbbVie. Noddle Companies is proud to support Husker Athletics. As a leader in commercial real estate, we create thriving communities. Discover what's new in the Builders District in North Downtown, Sunnyside Exarbon, and Row House Townhomes on Leavenworth. Noddle Companies is adding Omaha's first hybrid timber building to the skyline. Soon to follow is Builders Green Park, surrounded by mouth-watering food, exciting retail, and a hub of thriving businesses. Noddle Companies, building a better Nebraska. For more information, check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Go Huskers! At Nebraska, our people will always be our greatest asset. Day-by-day -day donors give our teams the best opportunity to compete and win through their generous donations. Our vision for the future is ambitious and requires help from those who want to see Husker Athletics excel at the highest level. Go big and join thousands of other Huskers Athletic Fund members with your gift today at huskers.com slash donate. Get ready again for some Nebraska farm facts. When there's work to be done, Nebraska soybeans are on the job in many of your everyday products. In fact, Nebraska soybeans are hard at work in Goodyear tires, Ford cars and trucks, Skechers shoes, asphalt, fuels, lubricants, name brand paints and stains, and more. Soybeans are an innovative replacement for petroleum, leading to more sustainable products all over the world. This message is brought to you by Nebraska soybean farmers, growing opportunity from the ground up. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Start your next journey with Woodhouse. Our commitment extends beyond just selling cars. We offer an unparalleled car buying experience that allows you to shop and buy all online. 
Explore an array of new brands, makes, and models, as well as our large selection of pre-owned vehicles. And it's easy to get started today with our streamlined purchasing process online, granting you the freedom to secure your next vehicle anytime, anywhere. Discover a better way to buy with Woodhouse. Hi, this is Husker National Champion and Super Bowl champ Tony Veland. Throughout my football career, chiropractic care helped my athletic performance on the field and kept me in the game. Today, regular chiropractic care keeps me healthy and active to do the things I love. Chiropractic is safe and effective for all ages. Make chiropractic your first choice to reduce pain, improve your mobility, and feel better naturally. It works for me, and it can work for you too. Learn more at nebraskachiropractic.org. Stay active with chiropractic. Noddle Companies is proud to support Husker Athletics. As a leader in commercial real estate, we create thriving communities. Discover what's new in the Builders District in North Downtown, Sunnyside Exarbon, and Row House Townhomes on Leavenworth. Noddle Companies is adding Omaha's first hybrid timber building to the skyline. Soon to follow is Builders Green Park, surrounded by mouth-watering food, exciting retail, and a hub of thriving businesses. Noddle Companies, building a better Nebraska. For more information, check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Go Huskers! At Groundworks, we take great pride in helping our Nebraska neighbors keep their homes healthy. From repairing foundations to waterproofing basements to fixing crawl spaces or lifting concrete driveways. We'd like to think our customers choose us because of our attention to detail or the fact that we're the nation's leading foundation solutions provider. What gives our customers the most comfort is we're right here in Nebraska. Visit Groundworks.com for a free estimate. Groundworks. Foundation solutions crafted with pride the official foundation company of the Huskers. Get ready to rule the field and revolutionize your farming game with Valley, the game changer in irrigation and ag tech solutions. With time and labor-saving measures, ground-truthing results, and effective input reduction, Valley provides the perfect game plan so you stay ahead of what's in the field. From the best in irrigation and cutting-edge ag tech solutions to personalized support, Valley is your winning team. Visit your local Valley dealer or valleyirrigation.com today. At your Ford dealer, making sure your Ford vehicle is running in tip-top shape is a big deal, and it just got a little bigger, starting with the Works Package. It includes a synthetic blend oil change, tire rotation, vehicle checkup, and more. Only your Ford dealer has factory-trained technicians and Ford parts, which makes it the best place to keep your vehicle or your next new Ford running at its best. Call to schedule service now or schedule with the Ford Pass app. They'll get you in and back on your way fast. Get the works package and get ready to go. You can win a 2024 Porsche Macon from Porsche Omaha this season. Four lucky Husker fans have a chance to win that Porsche if they make a full-court putt at halftime of one of four men's basketball games. For more information to get yourself registered, go to huskers.com slash putt. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie with you. Thanks to KP for giving us a little time before he makes his candy run to get uh, <laughs> and get prepped for the game tonight. Um, yeah, I. It uh, this is fun. Great opportunity. You don't get number one teams in your building very often. This is one tonight. This is a great Purdue team. But, hey, that's why you play the games. Last year, Huskers had them on the ropes. Just couldn't quite finish the deal. Tim and Carney on our text line said, Michigan and a fist fight. Isn't that the way we were in 94, 95, 97? A little bit, Tim. I would. Particularly 94 and 97, that 95 team just blew the doors off everybody. That, you go back and look at the scores of that 95 team with, with Tommy the lead at quarterback and Lawrence Phillips. They just clocked pretty much everybody they played. Michigan really didn't do that a lot this year where they just put it on people. But I would agree, 94 and 97 Huskers were very much, uh, very much that way. And the chat room is very concerned about my snowblower. Uh, we even got a text saying, did you put gas in it? Yes, I put gas in it. The problem probably is I had a little bit of leftover gas in it from last winter, and that probably gummed up the carburetor. So I've got to go get it cleaned out. So I'm glad there's concern about my snow-blowing ability or lack thereof today. And I think it's funny somebody asked if you had gas. Yeah, <laughs> I had gas in it. So good stuff right there. Um, all right, we've got Lexi Rodriguez with a nice academic honor today, right? That's pretty cool for her. First team academic All-American. Yeah, great. I mean, she's all everything, right? I think that's what the, the tweet said. She just, what can she not do? She literally does it all. Good but stuff. that's awesome, too. And just, again, the, it's, it's really special when they take recruits around and there's a, the All-American wall down there right in front of the training table. I guess they'll have to move all of those to the new facility. Yeah. 
Um, right. But I know that's that's a big deal, and we hear coaches talk about that too. Well, they it's might just... leave it over there. They could. I mean, that's still a lobby for game days. But yeah, you'd probably want it where your students see it a lot, right? Yeah, I would think. Yeah. There's a lot of space that's going to be vacated in the current stadium that needs to be figured out. Like, what do you do with the old weight room? What do you do with the old locker room that they don't use now? So there's a lot of things. I think there's certainly some plans, and some of it will probably maybe be a part of the renovation, maybe some of that, I don't know, uh, down the training table. Maybe that, maybe we'll have something to do with it. I don't know. But yeah, there's a lot to figure out. There's well, a lot of people that need new space, right? There is. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Cole's just, you know, he's ready for that training table to reopen. I mean, it's been closed <laughs> for a couple of weeks, and it's, you got another 10 days or so before that thing opens back up, Cole. So be patient uh, with all that. I had somebody the other day reach out to me and said, hey, can you give me a tour of the new facility? It's not done yet. I mean, really, yeah. the only thing it's done is the locker room over there yet. And I know that's – every time we see Trev Alberts, he's kind of <laughs> kicking the dirt about that that thing's not done yet. And uh, it's going to be a slow open, I think, as we move into 2024. I think there's certain parts that may be done by March. And then some of it I think they'll just wait till after the semester ends in May and make the big move in May and June. Um, it's going to be fantastic. I mean, everybody – and even Trev said it's just going to be phenomenal when the doors – swing open for that but it's been a we've been watching this thing for over two years jessica going up and it's still not completed yet. so crazy crazy to think about when i first took the job i came up and that track was still there yep. and then by the time i came back it had been demoed and this thing started came, coming up it went up really fast and we got it we got a first hand view of how quickly it went up but now the stuff that's inside we can't see as much so we we don't really know as much we can't track the progress as much the outside was really kind of done last spring i mean and that's why we kind of thought well there's, there's a chance they'll have it done by july and that, well they even had it done some in the winter because they, they were doing a lot of inside work last winter in there but it is it is slow and i know anybody who's built a business or a home those things do tend to kind of drag on a little bit so uh, yeah so it it's going to be phenomenal, and all student athletes are going to benefit from it. I know football probably the most, but that's where the table, training table is going to be. Academics is going to be in there. Compliance is going to be in there. So the all athletes are going to spend some time in that building. Yeah, and it, you know, and, and you think about kind of where college athletics are going, and probably you're not going to see. It used to be an arms race, right? Is in terms of the facilities, and you might have the best facility once it opened, but it might only been for a couple of years. Yeah. And then somebody else opened up their new facility. I think you'll see a slowing down of that, right? I agree. Because some of that money has to go towards to NIL and, and potentially paying players later, plus all the other things that, that involve that. And so, I, you know, this is going to be state-of-the-art for a long time. I know this coaching staff was really, really excited about it. And we talked to recruits. It seems to be something that they made note of, too. I think especially just, it's not just a, oh, a really nice building. It was, it was really, they're really strategic about how they put it together and the recovery part of it. And, and you hear now when you go to the NFL, taking care of your bodies, that type, type of thing is so important if you want to become a pro and have a have a long career as a pro and now this coaching staff and this support staff understand that and now they're helping implement that with these facilities so yes it's a really nice locker room it's got it's really fancy and it's great to look at but then it's also really practical and it's got some good things involved with with helping the student athletes and really learn how to become a pro but take care of their body while they're here. I mean, I, I, there's a couple of times I had interviews that they were a little bit late. Sorry, I had to spend some time in the cold tub, you know, which it yeah. looks like a spa, the, the, new, the new tubs down there, the hot tub and the cold tub. I mean, it is, it is, that is one of the things I have seen, and it's, it's great. So, but hopefully everybody else gets, I know that there have been plans for that, and hopefully here pretty soon they'll all start being able to move in. And, and don't feel bad for the athletes right now because what we have is awesome. It, it yeah. really is. I mean, so they're not like, walking through rags and riches to, to do their stuff. It's really nice what they have right now, but it's, it's just been a little slow burn to, to get that thing opened up. A little rumor that uh, Derek Walker, who was a part of that Husker basketball team last year that darn near beat Purdue, might be in uh, Lincoln tonight. Huh? Yeah, men's basketball just made a post with him. I didn't hear it because we were in the middle of talking to KP, but I guess he's in, in, a, in the house. Cool. These kinds of matchups bring back the big stars, right? Well, Kent said... To us, before we went on, that Emmanuel Bandamel was walking around in the arena today, too. I'll bet we saw all the football team, uh, a lot of those guys that are here, they were at wrestling. I'll bet a lot of 
football guys are at this matchup. I think Dylan Raiola was at the women's game on Sunday, too. He might have been. So He's all in. Someone told me that they saw him there, so he he – if he's around, he'll probably be there. I'm sure there will be a lot of lot of people in attendance to see this one. All right, need to step aside, get our final break of the hour, 402-413-2400. If you want to fire off a text, be a part of the last few minutes of Sports Highlight before we hand it off to Kent and, and uh, Jake as they get ready to call some Husker basketball tonight against the number one team in the country, the Purdue Boilermakers. Back to wrap up our little part of it next. There's no community like a Cenex community. And that's why every Cenex store is so proud to serve theirs by supporting local athletic teams, promoting the arts, and making sure each store is a place its neighbors can find what they need, catch up with their friends, and stay connected. It's also why we give back, helping to make the wonderful places we call home the best they can be. Your local Cenex doesn't just work in your town, it lives there. The store next door, powered locally at Cenex. At Groundworks, we take great pride in helping our Nebraska neighbors keep their homes healthy. From repairing foundations to waterproofing basements to fixing crawl spaces or lifting concrete driveways. We'd like to think our customers choose us because of our attention to detail or the fact that we're the nation's leading foundation solutions provider. What gives our customers the most comfort is we're right here in Nebraska. Visit Groundworks.com for a free estimate. Groundworks, foundation solutions crafted with pride the official foundation company of the Huskers. Hey, Mom. Yeah, I got in a crash. I'm okay. I was wearing my seatbelt. People count on you to buckle up. Brought to you by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Woodhouse has got you covered for your next car, truck, or SUV. We are committed to making the car buying and owning experience better thanks to our knowledgeable sales staff and factory certified technicians. You can discover our large inventory of new and pre-owned vehicles anytime at woodhouse.com where we have made buying a car easier than ever. Whether you need a family hauling SUV, a car to take you around town, or a hardworking truck, Woodhouse has something for everyone. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska exist to be there with you. From the first bell to final exams, they are rooting for the schools and teachers who make our communities great. Throughout the year, Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska and Nebraska Athletics will be honoring outstanding educators who help Nebraska's students reach their potential. If there's a teacher you want to recognize for the impact they've made in your community, find a nomination form at huskers.com slash teachers. Start your next journey with Woodhouse. Our commitment extends beyond just selling cars. We offer an unparalleled car buying experience that allows you to shop and buy all online. Online. Explore an array of new brands, makes, and models, as well as our large selection of pre owned vehicles. And it's easy to get started today with our streamlined purchasing process online, granting you the freedom to secure your next vehicle anytime, anywhere. Discover a better way to buy with Woodhouse. Back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres. They are the Midwest's premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance. Agriculture and much more acres solutions for every field. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cooney with you for a few more minutes, and then we'll hand it off to KP and Jake for Husker basketball tonight. Dennis wanted to know if the game was on TV tonight. It's on Peacock. We talked about Peacock a little bit during the football season. I think it was the Maryland game was on Peacock. The Huskers will have this game on Peacock, and then they play the Buckeyes in a couple of weeks. That's also on Peacock. And there's an NFL playoff game. The Chiefs are on Peacock Saturday night. How about that? That's, I saw there's a little bit of an uproar about that, right? It's where we're going, isn't it? Don't you think? I mean, that's kind of where we're headed. There's a lot more streaming. Yeah, and it's because there are now what? what? What is the, I guess, ratio now between people that have cable and don't have cable? Like that are streaming and that aren't streaming? It's a lot more that are streaming, I think, now. I think cable is down to... 15%, 20%. So just, again, being able to provide that and, and when you're trying to get that money and uh, bring in as many different kinds of companies as possible, that's just where it is. I mean, look at the Amazon package now. Right. You know? Yeah. 
Peacock does do some other. They have a lot of golf. They'll have a lot of Olympic coverage this summer. The Olympic Games are in Paris. We're still working on getting Jessica a ticket <laughs> to get over there to, to cover some of that. Last week we did talk, kind of keeping in the TV vent. We did that. ESPN acquired a lot of the NCAA championships and the women's basketball tournament, the volleyball tournament, college baseball, college softball, some of those things. And I said at the time, I go, well, thank goodness that football's not part of this. But a couple of the folks from ESPN.com did tweet out yesterday that they think ESPN's very close to securing the college football playoffs moving forward. That would disappoint me, that it would just be under their control. I would like to think that it could be kind of a combo deal with Fox and ESPN. Obviously, the Big Ten, we're tied to Fox, not ESPN. I don't. I I would be uncomfortable if I'm a Big Ten AD, Big Ten com- commissioner. I'm not sure I'm real comfortable that the ESPN is going to control the college football playoff moving forward. No, and we we've talked about this a lot since they have announced that they were going to expand it. You would think that there's no way that ESPN it should be illegal, right? I mean, you'd think that you'd have to offer it and give others opportunities to be involved. But look at the Super Bowl; it rotates every sure. year, yeah. and I would think that CBS might want a part of it. NBC. NBC, Fox, not just Fox, but certainly, absolutely, you'd think Fox, with as much as they've grown and how much emphasis they put on college football, that they'd want a piece of that pie. I would hope so, but... Again. Are they going to make it, though, where if you... You have to have all of them, like all of the games, you know? Possibly. And, you know, you know, next year, you're going to have that first round before Christmas, and those are, that's the round that's going to be... On campus. So you're going to have four games on campus, teams 5 through 12. The top four will get buys. Five will play 12, six will play 11, just like any of the tournament would. And then what we have called the New Year's Day Bowl games, those are going to now have the semifinals. So you're going to have, those will be the quarterfinals. You'll have four of those going on New Year's Day. Then this week would be your semifinals, the championship game next year is not going to be like the 20th of January. I saw That's those really dates. That way was out. wild. It's like today or yesterday would be a semifinal. Would be semifinal. And we just had the national championship last night. So it's going to be another week. I, I don't mind that. Um, boy, it does extend the season. And you're going to have to change some deadlines because there's a NFL has a deadline that you have to submit your name. They're going to have to push that back a little bit. Uh, you can't you can't have a deadline before those teams finish playing games. I that think. and the coaching carousel. You just think some of the dates should be tweaked. Got to be changed. Yeah, it's just not helping college football. Now we'll see how having more teams involved how that helps next year. Uh, but I, I'm also going to be fascinated to see how those other other bowl games that are not part of the playoff how right. they do. How do they do? Yeah, I mean there's there's. There's some little chatter that maybe you do away with all those. I, I don't think you get to that point. I don't think you're just going to have 12 teams make postseason and tell everybody else you're done and Thanksgiving weekend. No, I, I and, and how many bowls are there? And there's still so much money. I mean, even look at the volleyball. The championship couldn't have couldn't be played on the Saturday because there was a bowl game. Bowl games. And it was some not even really big bowl game. Yeah. But it just it still has that money tied to it and that revenue, that TV revenue. So I just don't think they're going away. Oh. All right, tomorrow night, we have a full two hours. We'll have a women's basketball show for you in hour one, and then we'll have a, an open show for us in hour number two. And then Thursday, women play. The Oscars are at home against Illinois at 7 o'clock. So we'll have just a short show for you on Thursday night and a full 90-minute show on Friday leading into Husker basketball as they take on the Iowa Hawkeyes on Friday night. Thanks to Cole for steering the ship. Thanks for KP for spending some time with us. Hope he made his uh, trip to the candy jar before we get uh, him fired up with, with Jake coming up here at the top of the hour. Enjoy the game tonight. Go Big Red. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Get ready again for some Nebraska farm facts. When there's work to be done, Nebraska soybeans are on the job in many of your everyday products. In fact, Nebraska soybeans are hard at work in Goodyear tires, Ford cars and trucks, Skecher shoes, asphalt, fuels, lubricants, name brand paints and stains, and more. Soybeans are an innovative replacement for petroleum, leading to more sustainable products all over the world. This message is brought to you by Nebraska soybean farmers, growing opportunity from the ground up. 
at your Ford dealer, making sure your Ford vehicle is running in tip-top shape is a big deal, and it just got a little bigger. Starting with the Works Package. It includes a synthetic blend oil change, tire rotation, vehicle checkup, and more. Only your Ford dealer has factory-trained technicians and Ford parts, which makes it the best place to keep your vehicle or your next new Ford running at its best. Call to schedule service now or schedule with the Ford Pass app. They'll get you in and back on your way fast. Get the Works Package and